What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So I'm looking at all of the comments. Look at my son. He's trying to hide. I'm looking at all the comments from my videos addressing the LeBron hate and all of that, right? And I got people saying stuff like, you know, we got to make this type of content because you, because of all y'all LeBron stands. Just because you want to be a LeBron stand doesn't mean that Dreamers Pro has to be a LeBron stand. Let me tell y'all something. Simply respecting LeBron James' greatness does not make you a LeBron James stand. It does not. All right. Um, what makes a person a LeBron James stand is they make excuses for every single thing he does. They think every single thing he does is right. And they think he is above criticism. I'm one of the biggest LeBron James fans you can find. I criticize LeBron James for several things he's done. I have. But I recognize and acknowledge his greatness. I acknowledge him as a Pantheon great. I acknowledge him as the second greatest basketball player to ever live. I don't even have him number one. I have him number two. Some people might have Kobe Bryant number two. Uh, I've made videos like putting forth my argument of why I believe that LeBron James is a better basketball player than Kobe Bean Bryant. Nonetheless, respecting his greatness does not make you a stand. What a lot of y'all LeBron haters want us to do, and again, my son, I, I know he's sitting right here, but my son here, <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, baby. Y'all want us to call LeBron James a bitch, a hoe. Y'all want us to call him out his name. Y'all want us to call him a punk, a crybaby. Y'all want us to call him a loser. Y'all want us to call him every name in the book. Y'all want us to denigrate him. And that is how we prove to you all that we are not LeBron James stands if we denigrate him, if we drag rake him through the coals, if we call him uh, everything but dirt at the bottom of our shoe, then we are not LeBron James stands. It's not going to happen over here, y'all. I respect the man's greatness. I recognize that he overachieved all of the things that people put on him when he came out of high school, right? I recognize that the man is an all-time great player. I don't care what you're talking about. I had dudes in the comments section trying to tell me that Dr. J and Nikola Jokic and Dwayne Wade are better basketball players all time than LeBron James. That's when I know you off that Sherm stick. That's when I know you smoking that same stuff that Lamar Odom got caught smoking when he was in that brothel. That's when I know you just out of your damn mind when you say stuff like that. You know what I mean? And my son know it too. He know it too. All right? But that's when I know you tripping. Because how can a dude, Nikola Jokic just got his career started. Nikola Jokic is a great player. Great. He hasn't achieved enough to be ahead of LeBron James yet. Dwayne Wade got three championships. He was only finals MVP in one of them. LeBron James was finals, in the, uh, finals MVP in the other two, and LeBron got four championships. Yes, the championship in the bubble count, because if Kobe Bryant would have won the championship, y'all would count it. If Michael Jordan would have won that championship, y'all would count it. If Kawhi Leonard and them would have won that championship, y'all would count it, okay? Dwayne Wade has not achieved more than LeBron James. Dr. J, great player, great player. Only got one championship, right? Dudes just be saying anything just to discredit LeBron James. They want us to be haters like that. They want us to call them all type of punks. They want us to call them sissies. All that type of stuff that got nothing to do with no basketball. They want us because easily I can throw a lot of insults at a lot of other players that other people love, right? At other all-time great players, I can throw them same. I can throw insults at them. But that does not take away their greatness, right? They want us to call, oh, LeBron is a punk. He's a this and he that. Man, listen, it's a lot of players that have done stuff in, in, in their personal lives that are weak and are questionable, right? One player that has done something that's crazy is Kobe Bean Bryant. Again, when Kobe told on Shaq, when, she, when Kobe got caught up with that infidelity and he told on Shaq and told the police, I should have paid the girl like Shaq, like Shaq be doing, right? So if I call Kobe a snitch, y'all going to say I'm being disrespectful. I'm being a hater, right? Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Like, because that's not a basketball-related thing. But everybody, oh, LeBron is a, he's a B-I-T-C-H and all that. Like, bro, come on, man. Simply, you can respect a man's greatness as a player. That don't make you no stand. Just like y'all respect Kobe's greatness as a player. That don't make you no stand. You know what I mean? That don't make you, yeah, because you, you, you respect his greatness. It's when you start trying to denigrate other, like, I, I mean, a lot of people in order to say, like, if you, if Kobe your favorite player, that's fine. But you got players, people who will 
shit on LeBron James to prop Kobe Bryant up. Shit on Michael Jordan. I mean, shit on LeBron James to prop Michael Jordan up when you don't have to do that. Because if, if he better than him, you don't got to do that. You know what I'm saying? So it just, it be the other part, man. You don't, to just because you respect his greatness, you respect him and acknowledge him as a top all-time great player, and you say, I'm not, people want you to disrespect LeBron and show you not a LeBron stand. That's what they be wanting you to do, man. And I'm not cut like that. That's sucker shit to me. That's lame. That's clown shit. I ain't cut like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all be, um, y'all say LeBron fans are emotional. A lot of y'all have this emotion, emotion towards LeBron like a bitter baby mama. Like a lot of y'all act like LeBron hit your shorty back in the day. Like LeBron, you know what I'm saying? Like he did some stuff to you personally and it be getting, it get way out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? My son get excited. Hold on one second, baby. One second. But yeah, it be getting way out of pocket, bro. Way. But yeah, man, it get it get way out of pocket. Y'all want us to just be talking about him like he ain't nothing, like he just trash in order for us to prove. You got to prove to me. Man, get up out of here, dog. Get up out of here. Like, it's people, and they say, all oh, LeBron fans so sensitive. People... Like other fan, it's other fan groups that like they certain like a player and they be sensitive about their player, and even worse than LeBron fans do. Like you can't even express that Kobe Bryant was an asshole, which is why people love Kobe Bryant. A lot of Kobe fans love him for that. If you say it, oh my God, they're ready to fight you. If you say Michael Jordan was an asshole, people are ready to fight you, even though it's been well documented that Michael Jordan was an asshole. They ready to fight and they ready to snap. They ready to call you everything in the book. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it just it just kills me, man. The way a lot of these grown men be having this emotional disgust for LeBron James. Again, it's just weird. Like, like what the fuck did this dude do to you? You know what I'm saying? What the hell? Why are you calling him a bitch and all that? Like, what is going on in your personal life? Did Joe, did Joe Broad see LeBron on TV and she, she liked him or something? You feel me? I don't know what be going on. Like, it just, it kills me. I, I respect Braun for off the court. Yeah. The dude lend his voice to black issues. I don't care if he marching with, if he out during the marches or not. Just him speaking on stuff that's happening towards our people, like police brutality, lending his voice is humongous. Because a lot of, uh, and it's courageous because a lot of the great players of, of yesterday, they didn't want to speak on anything because they were scared to lose money. They were scared that they spoke out against police brutality and stuff. They wouldn't that they would lose their paper, which is why you saw the uh, athletes of yesteryear not say nothing. Derek Jeter, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and they didn't speak out about those things because they did. They, well, some people were like, well, they weren't knowledgeable. And black folks be saying that shit. Fuck out of here. We black, G. You ain't got to be too knowledgeable about black folks, police killing black people. Y'all say that shit for them white folks to say shit like that. Well, you don't speak on anything you're not knowledgeable, knowledgeable about. Bro, we black, bro. We know what be going on in our communities, right? We know all the stuff that happened in our communities, whether it's good, whether it's dysfunctional in our communities and other stuff going on. We know we've always, black people and, and, and law enforcement have always had a negative relationship in our, in our communities, right? And we've always known that law enforcement have, has had a tendency to unalive black folks, even when they're unarmed. So it don't take, to, you don't have to be the most knowledgeable person. You don't have to be Albert Einstein. You don't have to be the most knowledgeable person on politics to speak on black uh, on uh, black people being killed by law enforcement. So to try to give Michael Jordan and Kobe them outs and shit like that and Derek Jeter and them outs on that end, they don't want to speak about things they don't have any knowledge about. Fuck out of here, bro. We black, Joe, we know what be going on. Braun speak up for black issues, whether he out marching with the people or not. He speak up with, with stuff he having in the black folks, which could risk his own money, which could, which could risk his dollars. There are people who once loved LeBron James when he was younger and when he didn't speak on police brutality, they loved him. Now they hate him because he lends his voice to those issues, right? Because he speak up for black folks on his social media platforms, because he talks and brings awareness to those things. There are people who hate him solely for that and some of y'all black asses be in cahoots with them. Cahoots with them same white folks that hate him for speaking up for black folks, right? Bron James married to a black woman. Again, you can marry and love who you want to, but I respect the man who keep his wealth within his community. I respect that shit. I really do. Because it's easy for you to get to gain affluence and go to other communities and all of that. 
Yeah, you can love who you love. And I got a lot of people that, I, that I'm very, very close to who are with non-black women. But I told y'all, me personally, I got to be with a black woman. I got to. You know hear I me? Mean? I got to. You know what I mean? That's just me. I got to be with a black woman. I, you know, and, and I respect that from LeBron James, keeping his wealth within his community. You hear me? Being a stand-up individual, a lot of the shorties, he, he show love to the younger generation. He don't hate on them and do that old head shit. Back in my day, they would have never been around to play. Back in my day, they couldn't have laced my shoestrings. Back in my day, no, man, he embraced them to the young shorties, which is why the young shorties show love to him. He embraced them to them, man. You hear me? He can't put all the people around him in a higher position to help them get some bread. All them around him, he helped to elevate them, man. That's something you got to salute. You got to respect. You hear me? Well, I, I don't, and, and that'd be the thing for me, man. Like, ah, people be, oh, it isn't that. No, nah, bro. Dude show love to the younger generation. He ain't out and hating on nobody. You feel me? It's dudes that have criticized him, that thrown dirt his way. He still go up to them boys. Like, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was shitting on uh, LeBron towards right when he was about to break the all-time scoring record. Kareem kept trying to throw little shots at LeBron. LeBron ain't did nothing but gave respect to Kareem his whole career. Right? And still went up there and shook Cap hand after Cap was doing all that hating. You hear me? It be certain stuff that be said by certain talking heads and certain talking pundits. He still shake their hand. You know what I mean? Even though I know you've been saying some slick shit and doing some hating on the other, on the other side. You hear me? But... Yeah, man, like simply respecting LeBron James do not make you a uh, uh simply respecting LeBron James do not make you a hater. I mean, uh, do not make you a stand. It does not. I don't care what nobody say. People can do all that they want to. Respecting LeBron James do not make you a stand, bro. Knock it out. Knock it off. You you don't gotta disrespect LeBron to show that oh, I I I um I'm unbiased. You don't got to call him a bitch and a hoe and all that weird ass shit. Fuck on, bro. Some of y'all got a lot of daddy issues that y'all got to fix and all that other shit, too. Y'all try to find daddies within Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. 